What's up everyone? So, this is the final in the series of toolboxes I have. So, so far we've looked at the blue roll cart, which I use, I have changed it up some since the video, but use this for if I'm doing a bigger job, um, you know, this is my go-to. It has most of my, you know, most of my hand tools, power tools, things like that. And then we saw the multicolor box, and that has the tools that I don't use constantly, but still need. And it's also overflow for what I can't fit in these. And then this one, this is my Snap-on KRA 4107, and I use this one as a diagnostic cart. It also has tools to do smaller jobs so if this box is way over there, and this one's way over here, I don't have to walk all the way across the shop and try to go past everyone else to get to what I need to do to do smaller jobs. So if I diagnose a sensor or even like a water pump or just smaller things, not like an engine or transmission or any bigger jobs, I can pretty much everything I need is in this car. Uh, up top, don't mind these, I'm trying to find somewhere to put them. These are kind of all the old ratchets and some that I don't know where what I'm going to do with. Uh, but up top I keep big magnetic tray, little one, a little holder that just has a razor blade in it right now. I'm sure I'll put more stuff in it. I just got all this sorted out today and got the CT8850 half inch impact notepad and I keep magnets all around the sides in case I need to throw you know some little part or set a tool up there whatever bolts nuts whatever so first drawer got this awful thing I just don't know what to do with it maybe I don't really have anywhere else to put it so it's living right there for right now probably will never use it again but whatever starting over here like I said, I keep enough tools to do smaller jobs in this box. Got the, I moved all, a lot of sockets from the other box over here, but I still got the ones I mainly use in that box. But I got the metric, semi-deep, or mid-length as they call it, Matco, 3-8 swivels. Got some snap-on quarter-inch swivels, chrome. I keep a 19-21-22 just cheap impact sockets for taking wheels off. Got the oh, lug nut removers. I pulled that out of the white box. Flashlight, mirror, my long Matco 3.8 locking flex head, set of cutters, pliers, channel lock type pliers. Got the little the nastiest impact driver ever. Uh, I've got a Milwaukee quarter inch and I think this is going to stay here. I may move it and swap but we'll see. I've got the 3 8 stubby impact. I've got Matco 3 8 shallow mid and deep impacts with gray pneumatic 21 and 22s got six millimeter through 22 uh, 3 8 deep and shallow and then I've got just a set of Matco quarter inch over here over here I've got the Matco 3 8 and quarter inch locking flex heads I've got a stubby 3 8 locking flex head and then just a really really little Matco three eighths. I think I'm going to keep this light in this box. I haven't decided, but I'll probably leave that either that or the little snap on light in this top drawer just because they fit. And then back in the corner, I got a box cutter for opening all those boxes. Next drawer extensions got Matco Chrome and Matco Impact with a little stubby gray pneumatic. Uh, some gear wrench picks. Some more quarter inch 
extensions, the Sun X bit set, and the Matco really, really, really stubby bit set. Uh, just a flathead, one of those little clip tools, some little little screwdrivers. I moved the uh, since I have the Milwaukee impact driver. I moved the uh, the Vim whatever those things are called. Uh, now I can't remember. Nut setters, I guess. That's what they're called. Next drawer. I took the, because I had wrenches stacked on top of wrenches in the other, in the roll cart, I got the Matco flex head and the long ratcheting. And I've got my other set of spline flex heads. Uh... Glock 19, these are long blue point bits. Now we'll get into the diagnostic stuff. So, got my Modus Edge with the OBD-1 adapter. It's actually got, what is that, a GM for OBD-1, fluke meter, uh, inspection scope, some different adapters for OBD-1, all these are OBD-1, amp clamp, spaler, 9 volts for the amp clamp, spark tester, scope accessories. Then I moved all of this from the white box because it was all piled up in the bottom. But I've got over here now I've got the thermal imager. In the back I've got UV glasses and some long alligator leads test light the snap-on power probe deal torch and then just adapters for the either the scope or the probe and then back here just got heat shrink and tape and soldering accessories next drawer I got more heat shrink and butt connectors Relay kit, keep fuses in here. Got a fuse holder, different accessories. The fuse saver and the relay test kit. Got a set of Noid lights. I don't very rarely use those, but they're there in case I need them. And then the last drawer, I moved the snap on fuel pressure tester down here. Got the quick release, the little pinch bots. That pinch the crap out of you every time you use them and then back there I've got the cheap compression tester now I moved the cooling system tester and my vacuum gauge and then there's some more adapters for the fuel pressure tester got my snap-on battery tester and never ever used that because one of the little pieces came off of it and then a vacuum gauge but that's it that's the last of my mini boxes and I've made some more room, so now I can expand and get more tools. Yay! So room! So I finally cleared up three drawers. So that means I have more room to buy new tools. Look at all that space I cleaned out. But anyway, I hope y'all like the video. Subscribe for more like it. Next week we're going to do some cars. We're pretty much done with tools for the week. And maybe either the beginning of this week or next week we'll start looking at some of the cars we either own or work on here. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And have a nice day.